Hi, what's up guys? On Maths here and we're looking at averages. So, first question it says that Bridget says to work out the median, you find the middle number which is 17, which sounds good to me. So a nice 17 there in the middle. But unfortunately that's not how it works because you need to order the numbers first. So, uh, must order numbers first by size so smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest you can actually do it either way uh, work out the range of the numbers so range is the biggest take away the smallest so we've got to find the biggest number which I think is 22 and take away the smallest number which I think is that 12 there so we're going to do the biggest ooh, do the biggest which is 22 Take away the smallest, which is 12, and that gives us 10. Right, finally, work out the mean of the numbers. So mean is the sum of the numbers. So mean equals the sum of the numbers over the amount. So the amount of them, there are what, seven numbers. So it's going to be over seven. And to calculate the sum, we can just use our calculator. So I'm just going to get my calculator out. 12 plus 15 plus 14 plus 17 plus 22 plus 19 plus 13. Simple as that, 112. And then we're going to do 112 divided by 7. And we get the answer, 16. Our next question comes from AQA. Now, this is a very, very tricky question because essentially you've, you're given the five numbers that are available, 1, 5, 7, 9, and 11, but you're told that one of them is removed and the new mean is 6. So you, what you can do is you can sit and write down all the different combinations of cards, work out their means, and do it that way. And you'd get full marks for doing that. There's nothing in the question that says you can't do that. Um, but you have to show your working. You can't just um, just write down the successful one. You've got to show how you did it by doing lots of different um, techniques, uh, like lots of different um, trials. However, I don't want to send do that. That sounds like way too much work. And the exam time is ticking. And so we've got to take some uh, action to make sure that we're not sitting wasting time. So what I'm going to show you is a kind of triangle. Now you will have used triangles in speed, distance and time and possibly some science stuff and maybe if you've done trigonometry maybe your teacher has taught you the Sokotoa triangles. Um, but not many people know that it absolutely works with the mean as well. So I'm going to draw the triangle here. Now we used the mean in the last question. We know that mean is the sum of the numbers over the amount. But that actually does create this triangle. And so if we have the mean and we have the amount and we're looking for what they add up to, you just times the mean um, with the amount. So if we're looking at covering up the sum, which is this one here, to work out the sum, All we have to do is do the mean times the amount. How simple is that? So we know the mean of the four cards is six, and obviously we know there are four cards. So we know they add up to 24. Six times four is 24. Now what we do now is we work out the sum of the five cards. So we look at the five cards given to us, and we work out the sum of those. So it would be 1 plus the 5 plus the 7 plus the 9 plus the 11. And so you can uh, work this out in your head. Or you can, uh, I think you can use a calculator. Yeah, it's paper too, so you can use a calculator. But it would just give us 33. So the sum of the 5 cards is 33. The sum of the four cards when it was when the one was removed is 24. So to work out 
which one's missing, all you need to do, so missing, is take away the 24 from the 33. So 33 take away 24. And see what amount is missing. Well, that's going to be 9. So there's no longer a 9 in there. And you can sit and work out whether that is true. Check it. So 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 is 24. Divided by 4 is 6. So the answer is going to be 9. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sitting. If you, if you didn't really see how to do it this way, you could sit and work out by trying 1, 5, 7, and 9, 1, 5, 7, and 11, and, and just go through each of the different combinations. Um, but if you do it that way, have a look and see whether your mean is close. And if it is close, try and figure out what you've got to tweak about the numbers you're using. But the method I've shown here, you can see, is so much quicker. All right, so we'll end on OCR's offering. And we've got a nice um, grouped frequency table here. Uh, which means there's 16 um, what is it? bags that are between 0 and 10 kilograms. There's 10 bags that are between 10 and 15, etc., etc. Um, and for this, we've looked, we're have looked. looking to estimate the mean. Now, when it says estimate the mean, it doesn't mean guess. There is one strategy for doing this, and you've got to follow it, unfortunately. You can't just say, I reckon it's about 16, maybe. Um, so let's go through what that strategy is. Now the problem is that you can't do anything whilst we have these groups here. Groups mean that we can't do anything. So we need to convert that group into a number. And the number we convert that group into is called the midpoint, which I'm going to write here. And to, I'm going to call, like, I'm going to just label that X and you'll see why later on. To find the midpoint of 0 to 10, it's just the halfway number. Now if you don't know what number is halfway, you add up the two limits, the 0 and the 10, and divide them by 2. 0 plus 10 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. Let's try it for the next one. 10 plus 15 is 25, divided by 2 is 12.5. Uh, uh, 15 plus 20 divided by 2 is going to be 17.5. Uh, then a halfway between these is 22.5, and halfway between these is 27.5. So you can see that these groups aren't even, which isn't a problem for this question. Do it the same way as you would do even if they were even. Okay, for the next thing, uh, now that we've got our numbers that represent the group, so instead of 0 to 10, we're just going to say all 16 of those first bags were all 5. They have to be given a specific number. You can't say 0 to 10, and that's where this word estimate comes from. Is because we're pretending they're all five. And five's a fair number because if you imagine you've got a group that's zero to ten, then it would be unfair to say they're all zero because then most of them will be higher than zero or they're all ten because most of them will be lower than ten. Um, so we say they're, we're all five. That's fine. They're all five. Okay, now with the mean, we always add up all the numbers. Um, and this is what we're doing in this table. So we're adding up all the numbers. There are 16 numbers in the first group, and we're pretending they're all 5. So if you imagine 16 fives we've got to add up, to do that we just times them, 16 times 5. Now if you are um, following the edX or AQA paper, you're looking at the left-hand side now and going, my goodness, this is paper 1, how are we supposed to do this in our head? OCR, their paper 2 is non-calculator, their paper 1 is actually calculator, so you don't, don't have to worry that this is a calculator question. So I'm going to use my calculator now and do 16 times 5, and that's going to be 80. So I'm going to write the 80 in there, and I call this column the FX column, frequency times X. Now, X is whatever the uh, unit is, so either weights or, in this case, the midpoints. Um, and it's just nice to label it. I could have called it the FW and called the weight W, but I always call it FX. Don't know why. Right, let's keep going through this. So that's going to be 125. Don't need to calculate for that one. Probably didn't for the first one. And the next one is going to be uh, 350. Just use your calculator throughout. It's no problem at all. Next one is going to be 180. So we're just timesing them as we go down. 
and the last one is going to be 165. Now we've added up all the groups, um, but we haven't found the total total. Um, we show that with this kind of sum of fx. And basically what we're doing now is just adding up all the numbers we've found here. So I'm going to do 80 plus 125 plus 350 plus 180 plus 165. And I get the answer of 900. So now we have added up all the numbers and it's equaled 900. However, with the mean, we know that we've got to divide it by the amount of numbers. Now, it's tempting here to think the amount of numbers is 5. That's not the amount of numbers, that's the amount of groups. The amount of numbers are shown in the frequency. So 16 in the first group, 10 in the next group, 20 in the next group, 8 in the next group, and 6 in the last group. So to find out the total amount of numbers, we need to add up that column. And we can do that sum sign again, sum of frequency. It just means we add them up. So I'm going to do that now. So 16 plus 10 plus 20 plus 8 plus 6, and I get the answer of 60. And sometimes it will even tell you in the question, and it does here, so weight of the 60 bags. So it even tells you in the question in this one. And so to find out what the mean is, we do the sum of the fx. over the sum of the frequencies. So the sum of the fx was 900. That's what the last column added up to. And the amount of bags was 60. So I get my calculator. Probably don't need it for this, but we'll use it anyway since we've got it. 900 divided by 60 is 15. So our answer it's going to be 15 kilograms. Simple as that. Well, I hope you found the video useful today. Uh, we're going to be doing these every single weekday, Monday to Friday. Please feel free to go to our website where you can do questions like this online today and only today. Tomorrow will be a different topic, but we have loads of other stuff on the website, all completely free. We don't charge for anything on onmaths.com. Uh, the website is onmaths.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click like. If you want to see more from us and you've found it helpful, uh, click subscribe. Make sure you're up to date with all the stuff that we release. And we're releasing stuff constantly. So uh, I look forward to seeing you again.